Hi guys, what is up? It's your buddy Deceptive here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Company Heroes 2. The British forces, as you can clearly see, have just dropped a couple of days ago, and they haven't gotten around to uh, doing a video on it, so I figured I'd do the video now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to a custom game real quick. Uh, I'm going to select a map that's a lot easier. Uh, when I say easy, I mean just, it's just a lot more practical to uh, play. Of course, we're going to be taking on the Wehrmacht on standard. Doesn't really matter. Again, I uh, <clears throat> do have some mods running on the game, so uh, expect to see them. Now, uh, I'm I'm not running the game on an SSD, so this load time is going to take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut head, cut edit here, and I'll see you uh, in a bit. And we're back, guys. And as you can see, what we're going to start doing now is uh, it's very. Uh, if you've played Company of Heroes two, Company of Company of Heroes before, you're going to realise that the uh, British, for some reason, tend to play a lot like the Americans, uh, as in they've only got one base that doesn't really expand that much. Sadly, um, and you see, you can't really expand your base. Uh, unlike the UK with the Germans and the Soviets. Now we're going to pick our commander and we're going to take a look. We've got the Royal Engineers Re uh, Regiment, which mostly works on, uh, appears to be uh, uh, basically the English equivalent of mortars and, and, and things like that. Uh, then, well, sorry, not mortars, uh, um, just a generic team set. Then you've got the Royal Artillery Regiment, of course, it just focuses solely on uh, artillery. And then you've got the commando regiments. Now the commando regiments, you get to summon your 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 commandos via a glider. However, the gliders themselves tend to act like physical terrain. So if you drop the glider in the wrong spot, it will cause your gang, uh, uh, your your units to try and walk around the glider, which is a pain in the ass. I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the uh, generic layout. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> and so uh, we're just waiting for these up, these uh, units to be built. Now we've already got one outpost. Again, this is a tactical base game. Uh, it's it, it at the time when this game first came out, it was done by the same people that did Dawn of War, uh, all, all the Dawn of Wars. Okay, so are we going to go with the flamethrower variant or the Vickers? I'm going to go with the flamethrower variant. Um, a lot of people have say uh, have been saying that uh, the the British are just reskinned, revoiced Americans, uh, the way they play. Um, I'm I'm not really much of an American player. I'm actually more of a German player. I like playing as the Wehrmacht, uh, which is kind of ironic because I'm actually fighting the Wehrmacht right this second. So what I might do is. There we go. And I'm going to go... Now, this is one of the things that the British uh, ha have that uh, uh, others don't. You can choose to go Blitzkrieg style, which is Hammer, or Defensive style, which is Anvil. I'm going Defensive style. And of course, you can build the legendary Firefly. There is a cruiser. And... There we go. Six pounder anti tank gun is finished, sir. Now I'm just going to continue on grabbing some uh, terrain, some uh, capture points while I'm waiting for. You know, these Royal Engineers capture there. Of course, uh, the uh, APCs don't count as actual troops. Demolitions team has been sent. Okay. There's our Royal Engineers. Ooh. We'll go with the Churchill as well. 
This is that mortar Sherman tank that uh, England did actually finish building, but they never got around to actually using. Hey, it's Sherman Firefly. She can get uh, 60 pound tulip rockets, or she can be designated as a tank commander. Improves accuracy and vision. Oh, he gets both. Nice. Of course, we're gonna roll that one forward. Sherman Fireflies. Poddington Fireflies. So, uh, we don't really get much in the way of uh, infantry diversity with this build. Uh, all all uh, you, you get is basically what you see is what you get pretty much just WYSIWYG uh, let's grab some snipers cool tank again it doesn't get any uh, hull mounted or turret mounted uh. now this anti-aircraft tank I have played with it around before it's actually pretty fun it chews up uh, uh, soft targets like their butter it it is just sickly fun So we're going to move our engineers up now. Again, you got the standard construction. You can build fuel caches or ammo caches. I don't have to build any of those right now. Again, I am using a uh, uh, a mod that's designed to let players just spawn units and play and have fun and, and things like that. I don't use these mods at all when uh, playing against human players. Okay. Now watch the anti-infantry. Watch, watch the triple A. Just choose them up. Look, they just—they poor bastards just don't stand it. And that turret speed. Oh good lord. That turret is just meaty as hell. Oh my god. I would love to see this ta that tank in uh, War Thunder. Uh, I'm serious, I would. Thing is just meaty as hell. Now again, I'm I'm just playing to show you guys what some of the British tanks have. Okay. Churchill taking over. Yeah, that's quite. Of course, Batman. Sorry about that. Every time I hear a voice like that, I just. <laughs> I just picture some seriously funny things. I picture Bane from uh, the Batman movies. Now, the snipers can actually capture, which is somewhat new. Um. I know a lot of players don't tend to let their snipers capture. Churchill just wrecked that. Bam! Get out of here. Get the hell out of here, silly Churchill. City Wehrmacht. So, uh,. Get some Shermans, some Sherman Firefly action going for you guys. Because I know that's what you guys want to see. You want to see how, how powerful the Fireflies really are. And I don't blame you. I'm the same way. I, I want to see how powerful the uh, Firefly is too. So we're just going to slowly creep. 
forward again slowly capturing uh, uh, Supplies are looking a bit squiffy. Supplies have been cut. And again, this is one of the things that you've really got to keep on about. It, it is. Uh... Oh my. One of the things the British troops do tend to do is swear a lot. See? So we're gonna hold this uh, spawn ridge line. Move those fireflies up. Let's move this Churchill up. Yeah, mortars are a pain in the ass. Okay, Churchill. Roll forward. Firefly, roll forward. That that triple A. Uh, uh, tank just tunes up. Troopers, watch. Tot, 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 tot. Oh, it's just sexy. Didn't stand a chance. Find the girl, that's a good chap. Again, the, the, the British voice acting in this is just... It's one of a kind. And that's it. That uh, mortar Churchill you saw there just devastates everything. It's definitely going to be a unit that gets nerfed. And there's the uh, victory airstrike aftermarket thing I downloaded from the mod center I'm gonna quit the match so guys uh, how, what do I feel about the British I think that uh, some of the units need to be a little bit buffed and some of the units need to be a little bit nerfed yes I was running uh, uh, some mods in there 
so you really couldn't see the damage profiles done but uh, uh, the Royal Engineer unit uh, with its Sten machine guns, for some reason they seem to forget that a Sten actually shoots. They keep thinking it's like a melee weapon and it's literally pinpoint uh, blunt in your face sort of range and it's actually not the Sten, Sten machine gun, a uh, submachine gun. It was actually a good little gun. Um, after the war they was, of course, as everyone knows, turned into Stormtrooper blasters for Star Wars, but... Um, yeah, as you saw, it, it just shoot the 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 triple A tank, the the Centaur Mark II cruiser tank just chews through uh, uh, um, uh, soft targets. I I would love to see this tank in War Thunder at a higher tier as as, as our SPAAs. Oh my God, I could definitely see it at like battle rank six point three, six point seven ish. Um, it, it, it is England's of, uh, equivalent uh, uh, of uh, uh, the Cougar Blitz. It really is. It's a good, good little tank. So, guys, that of course was the British. Uh, my my thoughts on it is, is simply this: I'm glad. I'm finally glad they're in. Uh, Heroes and generals, you kind of got to pull your, your your pants up to get British forces into that game. Uh, and as always, guys, if you want to see some more Company of Heroes two gameplay, let me know. Uh, by giving this video a like or a dislike i greatly appreciate it and until then take care my friends and i will see you in the next one